let's see another type of adversarial search which is called alpha beta pruning search now what was the problem related to minimax uh, procedure in adversarial search is all the state space tree uh, we have to reach each and every node to find out uh, the utility function with our minimax uh, procedure and uh, tree we have to explore up to the depth of the tree so for the problem uh, where the tree size is very large uh, you assume that if we have a problem of uh, exponential complexity uh, then it will be a difficult uh, way to find out uh, the solution in an efficient way now that alpha beta pruning uh, will help us to minimize the space memory space and uh, maximize the efficiency by again minimizing the time of finding the solution so how it will do that it will use a term called pruning pruning means we are just going to avoid some of the part of the tree uh, because those part we are assuming that will not going to affect our final decision so let's go into alpha beta pruning and try to understand what is that search technique is the problem with minimax search is that the number of game states it must minimize in exponential in the depth of the tree okay so let's go into another type of adversarial search which is called alpha beta pruning the problem with the minimax search is to finding out the game state we have to go up to the depth of the tree and we have to explore each and every node in the tree it will be a cumbersome job for uh, those problems which has exponential uh, complexity and the tree size is very large so what this alpha beta pruning proposing is it is proposing a search technique in which we can able to ignore some of the portion of the tree uh, to get our game state or to get our solution with minimal storage space as well as quickly we can get into the solution so let's go into deeper what is alpha beta pruning is and how it works so the problem with minimax search is that the number of game state it must examine is exponential in the depth of the tree unfortunately we cannot eliminate the exponent but it turns out we can effectively cut it in a half the trick is that it is possible to compute the correct minimax decision without looking at every node in the game tree so without looking every node in the game tree we have some um, formula or we have some constraint by which we can find out where we have to go into the tree and which portion of the tree we have to ignore so that can be achieved we can borrow the idea of pruning from uh, previous chapters means your different previous chapter where we have learned about pruning to eliminate large part of the tree from consideration the part particular technique uh, we examine is called alpha beta pruning when applied to a standard minimax tree it return the same move as minimax would but prunes away branches that cannot possibly influence the final decision so here we are getting the same solution as we are getting from the minimax uh, procedure but uh, to finding that particular 
moves we doesn't have to uh, go for longer uh, longer search and uh, definitely the memory will be used which are very less in terms of alpha beta pruning now this is a uh, this is a algorithm for alpha beta pruning where you can see uh, we have a function called alpha beta search in which we put the state state is nothing but your tree and we are returning the action we have three variable here one of the variable is called v v is what at last we have to maximize the value at the root node where we are putting a state and we are putting two values here minus infinite and plus infinite as we know that minus infinite is associated with uh, maximizer and plus infinite is uh, associated with minimizer and it is going to return an act action in action state with the value v so ultimately we'll get the value v here now what is that max value function that max value function will have three parameter state alpha and beta so as i told you here we have three variables as such v alpha and beta it will return a utility value definitely we will do the terminal test with the state uh, all the time we say that which is a terminal node and then we'll return the utility of that particular state so what that is state if the, it is a terminal state, it will give you the value of it. Initially, the V value for the maximizer node will be minus infinite. And uh, we go into the uh, iterative way to get into uh, to finding out what is the value of V is in the maximizer. So what we do is we'll use this particular uh, function to get it. We'll find out the max of V value or the value that we'll get from this function, which is uh, mini value result as a alpha beta. Now, what is that mini value? Mini value is this function that will be applied here. Now here, that is the condition that we have to look forward is if V is greater than or equal to beta, then we'll return. Return is means we are pruning. The rest of the tree we are not going to evaluate. If the condition does not satisfy, then we'll change the value of alpha by finding out who is the maximum, alpha value is the maximum or V value is the maximum. And at last, we'll return the value of V. The same thing happened to the min value also. We have a state alpha and beta as the parameter and we need we, we get the utility value here also. In terminal node uh, state, then we'll return the utility. So whenever we reach the terminal node, we try to uh, uh, return the utility of it. Here for the min value or the for minimizer, we have to initialize V with plus infinite. For each A in action, we have to uh, repeat these steps. The first step is finding out the value of V. Here in the minimizer, the objective is to minimize the value. So it will find out the minimum of V of max value result as a alpha beta. Here's the condition which is important for the pruning. If we find out that V is less than equal to alpha, then we'll return. Return means we'll just do a pruning. Otherwise, we change the value of beta with the minimum of beta and V value. And at last, we'll return the value of V. Now we'll try to understand this particular algorithm with the help of a example. Here in the example, if you'll see, we have nodes. This is root node, which is obviously a maximizer. Then again, we have first level, which is minimizer. Again, we have next level, which is maximizer. So because it is a two player game, first player will do uh, move and then second player will move and then the next player will move in that way it will goes on and at last we have terminal node here I have shown the pruning uh, condition and each and every 
node level. So this is uh, this particular alpha beta pruning we'll see with the help of one example. 